Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Okay, so Normani has come out with her new single, 159. I'm so excited. It's so good. It sounds so, so, so good. It's giving a very similar vibe or very similar feel to Wild Side, which I really enjoyed. I enjoyed Wild Side when it came out and it's grown on me since. Yeah, the song is incredible. The instrumentals, the vocals, how they pan from left to right, everything just sounds so good my only problem why did this need a feature rapper i don't i don't get it i don't understand it i don't understand this trend well it's not a trend but like this thing where r&b singers usually and even some white singers camilla cabello always are having some rapper on their song when the song didn't really need a rapper like wild tide didn't need the cardi b verse 159 did not need the gunner verse I love it. Didn't need the Playboy Cardi verse. All these songs are good on their own. They 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 stand on their own. So I don't understand why these singers put rappers on it. Like, is it like it's not like back in 2010 or 2011 or 2012 where you needed a rapper to maybe appeal to the more quote unquote urban audience? Like it's all streaming now. If people like the song, they like it. If they vibe it, they vibe it. I'm just I'm so sick of this. And even if you're gonna have a rapper on it, why not? put a very relevant rap like i know gunna is relevant he's not relevant in my circles because i don't really listen to rap or hip-hop except Nicki minaj and people in Nicki minaj's like influence things like that but like why not put someone like someone actually influential someone actually popping like if you're gonna do this make it right it, it was so unnecessary i'm really hoping there's a solo version of this song but anyway she's also coming out with her album like I thought the album would come somewhere in December because I thought like because Normani's hype that she had like four or five years ago has died down significantly, okay, significantly, she would need a few months to really build up um, hype for this album. But apparently it's coming in June on June 14th. So that's really close. That's a month and a half away. I'm not sure how that's going to work out. I'm hoping it works out fine. I'm guessing, you know how like um, SZA was kind of doing well, but she wasn't doing very well. And then SOS came out and then it like took over the world. It sold over 400,000 copies in its opening week. Well, equivalent album units. Uh, but yeah, it had a lot of songs to back that up. So I don't know if Dopamine by Normani is going to have the same like 20, 21, 25 tracks on it but i'm really hoping this album is a success but you know what i think like maybe if the album comes out maybe it may not be a success initially but as time goes on it's going to become a huge success because the way i see it in my mind nomani is a kind of artist who's going to really draw out this album for at least two three years i mean the woman took like six years to release a debut solo album so i don't know i feel like she's really gonna try to give this album a very very long life and i'm here for it as long as the songs are good as long as the songs are good okay i'm also hoping there's a feature from chloe i'm also hoping that there's a feature from tanache and scissor i would love that no more rappers no more rappers if there are going to be any rappers have a female on there jt i want to see jt on her album i want to see um nikki but I don't think she and Nikki are... I kind of have like this sneaky suspicion that she and Nikki are not on the best of terms anymore. But then again, I really don't know. So, um, yeah, I am i don't know. What do you guys think? How do you guys feel this album is going to like pan out? What are your thoughts on how successful it's going to be? Because the thing with SZA is she had alongside RCA, which is the record label that Normani is under. She had Top Dog Entertainment. Normani doesn't have that. I think the record label is going to do its parts, except, you know, RCA really rarely does a lot for its artists, but um, RCA is going to do its part, and then her management also have to do their part. Top Dog Entertainment is sort of like a management slash record label, so they definitely, I would attribute the success of SOS by SZA to top dog entertainment not rca rca definitely has the bigger connections but like when you're talking about the grassroots the underground the very like the real hype that the album had i'm really positive that it's coming from top dog entertainment and even if 
RCA is going to push Normani. You know how, like, with Doja Cat, it wasn't until she had, like, two successful eras full of pop music that they really gave her um, recent album Scarlet the attention that it got, and it got, like, two top ten hits? I don't know if Normani is going to have that. I don't know. Like, the thing about Normani is she seems, or at least to me, like, okay, okay, I want Normani to be a huge mainstream artist, but I feel like she's boxing herself in with the R&B crowd, which is not a bad thing. You can definitely be successful, but like you also need the whites, the Caucasian, the pop masses to be into your music for you to be making that huge like concert money. Like being so niche down to the R&B urban audience, I'm not sure how that's gonna work out for her. I kind of wish, you know what? The album may have some pop hits on there. I'm hoping it has some pop hits on there. I really want this album to be a success. This has been a long time coming. This has been since 2018. We finally have an album. We actually have a release date. Hopefully it's not moved. Hopefully, hopefully it's not changed. Oh my God, I've been so excited. I didn't even consider the possibility that she might change the release date. Huh. Fuck it, let's just hope everything turns out in our favor well in my favor and the album comes out on june 14th because i'm so excited to hear what she's been cooking up for the past six years thanks for sticking around and i'll see you in the next one bye